Hi everyone, this is Linda Jackson at Capricorn Quilting. Beatrice asked me earlier on about putting designs on a path, on a repeat path. Um, and this is how you do it. This is one that I did two minutes ago. Over here, Beatrice, is the sequence that I was talking about. And this is where your items are. So they're both artwork, as you can see. That is the designs. And that is the path. Okay, so let's come away from that. What we're going to do is open up a design first of all, and you can do that down here in the files. Brings up your designs there. Continuous line because it must be open-ended, your design must be open-ended. And you can scroll down and just select whatever it is that you're, you're wanting to use. Um, let's have a look. Let's have, we'll have a single leaf this time. Click and drag and it will come over into the screen. You now need to resize it, okay? And what you're going to have to do with this, because it's a stitch work rather than artwork, and if I go back into there so you can see the sequence, you can see it says group. So I'm going to right click in there, and I'm going to join them all together, because obviously there's more than one item in there. So I'm going to connect, and I'm going to make sure that it's artwork, so right click again, and convert to artwork. Now I know that it will work. Oh, that's a message on the phone. Now I know that it will work. So now I'm going to go away from there and I'm going to create myself a curve. So up onto the tools section, click on curve and just create any sort of curve you like. Right click to come out of it. Now over here, as you can see, if I click on that one, I've got the design first and then I've got the artwork, which is the line, the path has to be in that order or it won't work. So hold down control now that I've got that one selected and I'm going to select that one as well so that's selected the two. Now you can see that repeat on path has become usable okay because it's not greyed out like the rays. So click repeat on path and this is when you can play later on as to whether to reflect it so if you've got a circle for example rather than a straight line you can do it within there or reflect every other. So one will go that way, one will go that way. Let's give that one a go, shall we? That's not too big. I'm going to leave it with the automatic settings at the moment and we'll give it a, a try. And there you go. That's actually quite nice. What I can do now is select both of them separately. So now what I've got there is the line itself that I drew and I'm going to remove that and that just gives me the line itself. Hope that helps. Hours and hours of play yet again and we'll see you soon.